One of the most powerful and innovative enhancements to WaveLab 9 is the introduction of mid-side processing capability. As we'll see, this capability is integral to the editing, montage, and mastering sections, as well as their associated processors. A traditional stereo signal is divided into left and right channels. And although these can be processed separately, the most common application is simply panning to create your stereo sound field. By comparison, mid-side processing also divides a stereo signal into two discrete channels. But instead of a left and right, you now have independent access to the middle signal and to the side signals. One of the most powerful and innovative enhancements to WaveLab Pro 9 is the introduction of mid-side processing capability. But what makes this revolutionary in WaveLab Pro 9 is that you have the option of processing only the mid-channel or only the side-channel using any plugin, regardless of whether or not that plugin has native mid-side capability. This means with WaveLab Pro 9, every plugin in your library can be used for mid-side processing. Let's take a closer look at the processing options this creates. Take a listen to this basic stereo drum track. Notice that the kick drum is panned dead center, and the other drums are panned left and right. If we wanted to add some compression to tighten up the kick drum using traditional stereo techniques, we would have to apply that compressor across the entire sound field, like this. But WaveLab Pro 9 allows you to insert this compressor on the mid-channel, even though the plugin itself isn't a mid-side plugin. This lets us compress the kick drum while leaving the other drums in the side channels unaffected. WaveLab Pro 9 brings the same powerful capability to every major aspect of your workflow. If we open the audio editor, you can see the waveform in both windows displayed in the traditional stereo format. But by clicking on the left-right button, we can place either or both windows into the new mid-side mode. You can tell immediately that the signal content looks very different. You can further refine your editing by using the channels selector in the ribbon to zero in on just the mid channel or just the side channel. And now we can bring all of WaveLab's powerful editing tools to bear on whichever component of the signal needs work. But you can take this one step further. You can combine the new mid side editing capabilities with WaveLab's world famous spectrum editing tools. Now we can display and edit the spectrum for the mid-channel and the side channels independently. And here again, you can use the channels drop-down and range selection tools to isolate on exactly the area you want to work with. And you can use all of the tools and capabilities on each tab in the ribbon with the new mid-side mode. For example, this allows me to select a portion of the middle channel and use the gain process to increase its relative volume while leaving the rest of the stereo field untouched. And again, I can access all of this using the waveform display or the spectrum display depending on the task at hand. The audio montage also incorporates the powerful new mid-side capability. If you click on the track number and then select the option to split into mid-side mono tracks, the montage editor will change accordingly, which you can quickly identify by the new color scheme. This allows you to work on the mid-channel or on the side channels independently. So for example, if you wanted to fade out the side channels early and end a song focused on the middle of the sound field only, it's easily done. The revolutionary new master rig was designed from the ground up to incorporate mid-side processing. For example, if we look at the equalizer module, you'll notice that the top center of each band displays ST, meaning that it's in stereo mode. But clicking on these icons will shift that band into mid-side mode, effectively subdividing it into two EQs, one labeled 1M for mid and the other labeled 1S for side control. You can click and drag these nodes in the main display to set them visually, 
or you can toggle between them in the control area to set them numerically. And remember, you can always double click in the numeric value field and type in a specific value for precise control. And each one of these bands can be placed into the mid-side mode for incredibly specific control. If we switch to a compressor module, you can see the same basic capability here. Each band can be set to either ST or stereo mode, or toggled into mid-side mode. And again, this effectively splits or subdivides each band into separate compressors. One for the mid, which is again labeled M, and the other for the sides, labeled S. You also have the option to use this power switch to disable either band. So for example, if I wanted to compress only the middle channel in this frequency band, you can simply turn off the side channels. If we switch to the saturator module, you can see the same basic layout here as well. By switching to mid-side mode, each band can be split, fine-tuned, and isolated as needed to add a touch of saturation exactly where you need it without clouding the entire mix. Like any other processing technique, as mid-side editing becomes a bigger part of your workflow, you'll want to be able to monitor your output with respect to mid-side as well as stereo. And WaveLab 9 has this capability built in. If you hover over this icon, you can see that it allows you to access the audio monitoring options. And when you click it, this menu appears with dozens of metering options, including the ability to monitor the mid and side channels independently.